Before introducing our speakers, I want to note that as a former rider on the K6 bus line, the regular bus that runs the same route as the K9, I can tell you from personal experience how important this approved service is. The K6 is one of the busiest routes in Maryland and recently has been averaging close to 6,000 weekday riders. These riders will now have more options for a faster trip and overall service in this corridor on either the K6 or the new K9 should be less crowded and more reliable. In addition to the benefits to our riders, this improved bus service should also help traffic congestion on the very busy New Hampshire Avenue corridor and increase ridership on Metro. So this new bus service is a win for our riders, a win for those who drive on New Hampshire Avenue and a win for Metro. One of the highest priorities, of course, is to improve transportation throughout our network and provide more alternatives to reduce traffic congestion. That's why I'm so glad to be here today to help celebrate the new K-9 Metro bus service. It will make a big difference in the New Hampshire Avenue corridor. Metro bus priority corridor service is critical to helping meet our region's transportation needs. We look forward to working with Metro on developing more premium corridor sites along the way. This new New Hampshire Avenue corridor is one of the highest ridership routes in Maryland, with more than 5,800 weekday riders and 5,300 Saturday riders and 3,400 Sunday riders. That's an amazing number. It is also a truly regional route, covering the District of Columbia, Prince George's, and Montgomery counties. The new K-9 bus priority corridor is the first step toward implementing the New Hampshire Avenue rapid transit corridor system. This rapid transit corridor system has the potential to double the ridership and significantly reduce transit travel times. Those using the K-9 route should see immediate improvements, such as new buses, more bus service, reduced crowding, a faster ride with limited stops, and better reliability. In the future, this route will connect the Purple Line at the new Tacoma Langner Transit Center at the University and New Hampshire Avenue intersection. We will work closely with Ramada and the Maryland Department of Transportation to fund the second phase of the K-9 service, which will extend the route to the Food and Drug Administration in White Oak. I want to thank all of you for coming out today and I wish you a happy new year. This is an exciting time for Maryland, the District of Columbia, and of course, for all of those who will look at this ridership as a way to improve time, convenience, and quality of life. Thank you very much. I'm really excited to be here and excited to be here with um, my colleagues from throughout the region and County Executive Leggett. We're always delighted to have you. Uh, and I know how excited you must be about this better bus connection um, that's going to serve parts of Montgomery County. I'm going to go through the city of Tacoma Park and, of course, terminate here um, in the District of Columbia. Uh, this happens to be my metro bus station, um, and I can walk here. I usually take an e-bus here or our bus here. Uh, but what we know for sure is that bus service, if we are to keep up with growing jobs, if we're to keep up with a growing population, we have to also make sure that our bus system keeps up as well. So this K-9, and we have experience with these bus services throughout our region uh, with limited stops, um, that p riders regularly flock to those stops. The businesses along the route say, can I get a stop? Um, because that really means that people are coming uh, towards their business um, and towards those stops. And it really means that we're serving our customers better. So our customers know that we're growing. They know that we're making investments. They know that we've made the system safer and that they know that we're making it more reliable. And this is just another example. So I can't wait to cut the ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the future of transit. That's why this is so exciting. The days of the old bus stopping every couple seconds and sitting in traffic, we are going past that now. We are talking about express buses. We are talking about regional service. We are talking about WMATA, Montgomery County, and the District of Columbia working together to create a better transit future for our residents. And it is in that kind of investment 
that the future of our region actually depends upon. So I am just so grateful to be here, so pleased to see this initiative, so pleased that it is laying the groundwork for what the county executive described as our own rapid transit network that we hope to have in Montgomery County that is so critical to our future. But ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake about it, this is the future of transit and that's why we are here to celebrate it. The project to accelerate the time that it takes to get uh, in this corridor on bus is one of the most important transportation priorities in this part of the region. And I'm really excited to see Metro moving forward in this area and I'm glad that the county government is supporting it and I look forward to uh, continuing to enhance this service area in the coming years. I think we've got a, a lot of work to do here and we're really beginning to make some fast progress. I'm very pleased to be here with uh, County Executive Mike Leggett, uh, members of the Montgomery Council, as well as members of the Washington Metro Board. I appreciate the support that they give to Washington Metro, and especially uh, in, in Montgomery County. We're pleased to be launching the uh, K-9 service uh, this, this past week. It uh, brings uh, limited stop service to residents of Maryland. Uh, it, start, it started on December 31st. Uh, we completed a study of the K K6 service and saw, uh, as everyone knew, that we wrote it, that it was very overcrowded. I really needed help. And the best way to provide that, because it served about 5,800 5, customers a day, was to introduce this limited stop uh, K9 service. We listened to our customers, and we think we're bringing to them what they've, they've asked for. It'll be a faster trip, a more reliable trip. Um, going from the Northwest Park in Montgomery County down here to the Fort Tottenham Metro Rail Station boost connectivity for our folks. There's less crowding on the buses. There'll be better schedule adherence. And there's up-to-date, easy-to-read schedules, as you'll notice at the bus stop signs. We've been putting up new bus stop signs, uh, new flags, uh, new poles on the route. And we're working with the local jurisdictions to create dedicated transit lanes, implement transit signal priority and signal timing adjustments, and improve key intersections to speed the flow of buses along New Hampshire Avenue. Thank you for joining us all here today and let's cut the ribbon. Thank <laughs> you.